All right, hey guys, so you have been doing a web quest on the metric system, and I'm also going to have you guys watch this video, and uh, I've given you a copy of this staircase, and we're going to fill it out together as you read along and watch along. And so uh, what I want you to see is that uh, this staircase is so we can use the metric system, and the metric system is for measurement, and so we look at measurements. And there are lots of different things that we can measure in the metric system. The metric units for length are meters. The metric unit for mass is grams. The metric unit for uh, volume is liters. And, uh, and we can measure other things in, uh, in the metric system. We can measure speed in the metric system using all of these. The other one is seconds. Time is measured in seconds. <clears throat> and so you may have heard of uh, these before. Hopefully you've heard of these before, especially seconds. But these are our metric base units. And those base units go right in here. So we have our base units of meters and liters and grams and seconds. Those are all of our base units. And so when we look at these measurements, each of these measurements is a base unit. And it's a base of a power of 10. That's what the metric system does. And so this is not just powers of 10, but this is uh, the base unit. So that is a 1. And this means it's 10 to the 0th power. When you take 10 to the 0th power, that is 1. And so when you've got 1 there, that is 10 to the 0th power. And the idea behind this staircase is that every time you go up or down the stairs, you change by a power of 10. So if we go up, this, this is 10 times this one, which is 10, which is 10 to the 1 power. We can go up another step. That is 10 times 10, which is 100, or 10 to the second power. And so you can kind of see each time we're adding a power of 10 or each time we're adding a 0. And so this would be 1,000. This would be 10,000 and so on. But let's just do it like this. 10 to the third power. We have 10 to the fourth power. 10 to the fifth. 10 to the sixth. I'm going to skip 1, 2, 3 to 10 to the ninth power. All right. So we've got 10 to the ninth power, 10 to the sixth power, 5, 4, 10 to the third, 2, 1, and then 10 to the 0. Now, what happens when we go down the stairs? When we go down the stairs, we go and move the decimal place the other direction. We take away zeros. And so we move that decimal place. So this becomes 10 to the minus 1, which would be 0.1. And <clears throat> this next step would be 10 to the minus 2, which is 0.01. That's two decimal places. This is just one decimal place. So this is 10 to the minus 1. This is 10 to the minus 2. The next one is 0.001. That's 10 to the minus 3. And we can keep going. We got 10 to the minus 4. 10 to the minus 5, 10 to the minus 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the minus 9th. And so we've got these nice numbers, and each one is moving a decimal place. That's all we're doing. We're moving that decimal place either to the left or to the right, depending on whether we're going up or down these stairs. And so as we look at this, we can look and see, all right, this is starting to appear to be a little bit normal. And you guys might remember from elementary or middle school looking at this before. You, you've probably done it before. And one of the things that we want to look at is how do we illustrate these numbers. And so, for example, if we want to go from here to uh, Statesville, we, couldn't, we could measure in meters. If we measured in meters, those meters are kind of small. A meter is about a yard. It's a little bit bigger than a yard. And so if we were to measure the number of yards between here and Statesville, 
It would take a lot of yards. It's probably around maybe 400,000, not 400,000, uh, 20,000 yards. That's a long way. So 20,000 meters or 20,000 yards is a lot, is a big number. And so one of the things that we like to do is we use these metric system prefixes. And so if we wanted to abbreviate things, this is, if it's in this group, if it's a deca meter, it would be 10 times whatever that is. So one deca meter would be 10 meters. This level right here is hecto. So a hectometer, you might have heard the word hectare, is 100, uh, 100 yards. So a hectometer, hecto means there are 100 meters in that. So one hectometer has 100 of the base unit. We can abbreviate these as well. So deca is a DA, hecto is just H. Uh, we get to this a thousand and a thousand the prefix for a thousand in the metric system is kilo you've heard that before and it's abbreviated with a K so a km would be a kilometer or a kilometer so it's probably better off measuring in kilometers than it is meters to go from Statesville to Nor uh, to Taylorsville if we measure in meters, it's going to be about 20,000. If we measure in kilometers, it's going to be about 20. Well, which one would you rather count? Would you rather measure in kilometers, which you only have to have 20, two digits, or would you rather have meters, where you have to have five digits? So ideally, we use these prefixes to tell us how big something is. We can go up further. I don't have a prefix. You don't need to know the prefix for four, five, six, however. Six, you've probably seen before. A thousand times bigger than a kilo is mega. And you've probably learned that in your uh, computers, megabytes versus kilobytes. And then we can get bigger than that. Uh, that's a capital M. If we get bigger than a megabyte, we can go to giga a gigabyte is a thousand megabytes so we go up three steps to the 10 to the ninth power and that is a capital G so what happens when we that's when we have big things big things to measure when we have really tiny things to measure we're looking down here at the smaller numbers <clears throat> so as we look at these smaller numbers we can get a little bit smaller and you guys know what's smaller than a, a meter one tenth of something. What's one tenth of a dollar? One tenth of a dollar would be a dime. This is deci. And the abbreviation is just a lowercase d. That's a dime, a, a, ten, a, a tenth, 0.1. And then we get down to this one, and this is one hundredth. So one hundredth, well, how many pennies are there in a, in a dollar? Well, there's a hundred cents. So this is a centi. You might have seen centimeters. That is a lowercase c abbreviation. And then underneath that, we have something that's really, really small, and that is milli. Milli. So that is abbreviated with another lowercase m. So we have millimeters and millimeters. There are only a 10 difference in between millimeters and centimeters. And so there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. There are 10 centimeters in one decimeter. There are 10 decimeters in one meter. There are 10 meters in one decimeter, and so on. Every time we move up or down the stairs, we change by a power of 10. And so, <clears throat> we can look at this we can go a little bit further we're gonna skip four and five on this side and we're gonna go down to 10 to the minus six and 10 to the minus six is something that's really really small you might use a microscope micro is uh, is a our next abbreviation or our next prefix and the abbreviation is a little 
Greek letter. It's a mu. It looks like a U with a tail on the front and the back. And so that is our symbol for micro. We're not going to use that as much. But now we've got technology that looks even smaller. And so on the other side here, we had giga on the top. We have something really, really tiny on the bottom, and that is nano. And that is an abbreviated lowercase n. And so these are all powers of 10. So kind of like in your web quest now, as we look at our powers of 10, as we look at this system of measuring, we can look at how we move up and down these stairs. And so if we're transferring, if we're changing our, um, our units, if we're converting units, so these are metric conversions. If we're doing a metric conversion, we have to look at what we've been given and where we're going, and then we count the steps between the two. We count the steps between the two uh, that we're going, and if we move the decim if we move up the stairs, the decimal moves left. If we move up the stairs, the decimal moves left. If we move down the stairs, the decimal moves to the right. And so, for example, we have uh, 100 centimeters turned into meters. All right, so 100 centimeters turned into meters. Well, we've got centi right here, and we've got meters right here. So that is two steps up. That is two steps up the stairs. And so we're going to move the decimal to the left. Where's the decimal place in 100? Well, that's the 100's place. That's the tens place, that's the ones place, the decimal place is right here. And so if we're going to move that decimal place to the left two places, that goes one, two places, so this is one meter. Likewise, if we're going to go down the stairs, if we have one kilometer, we want to know how many centimeters it is. Well, let's find kilometer. Kilometer is right up here. And kilometer to centi goes one, two, three, four, five steps. It's five steps down the stairs, and so we're going to move the decimal to the right. So five steps. That's a one with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five steps. 100,000 centimeters in one kilometer. And so that is the way we do our metric conversions. We can use these stairs. Now, some of you might remember a mnemonic device, and that's where we're going to finish up. Mnemonic devices stand for something else that's easier to remember. And so you might have done this mnemonic device, kangaroos, hop, down, Bumpy, driveways, crushing marshmallows. This is a good way to remember that kilo is bigger than hecto, which is bigger than deca, which is bigger than the base, which is bigger than the deci, which is bigger than the centi, which is bigger than the milli. Kangaroos hop down bumpy driveways crushing marshmallows. There you go. That's how we remember the metric system. That's how we use metric conversions. And those are some things that you should know the abbreviations to as well as the prefixes to. We'll get some extra practice on... Uh, on Tuesday, I hope you guys have a great weekend.